and in this video I've connected the positive uh, loosely anyway I've stuck the end of the positive ground rod it comes up through into the positive side here uh, and with that actually connected I no longer can read any kilovolts coming out uh, in fact I don't even hear the buzz anymore so let's just go ahead and crank it up it's currently at zero all right it's on so we'll crank this up usually about 70 80 volts it would be arcing but because it's grounded I can crank it all the way to the top it's all the way at peak no volts showing at all and it's because the positive is grounded to the earth. So it's making the positive of the ground a positive and the frame itself is negative, but there's no arcing that's able to result. So here, I'm gonna just crank it off. I'll turn it off this way. Then I will move, we disconnect the positive cable. Just drop it. And then we'll just turn it back on so you can see. hear any noise at all. It's pretty uh, interesting. So it kind of begs the question of uh, creating just a spark gap on the positive leg between it and the ground rod so that a potential can be realized on the shed at a higher voltage than the zero volts that we're noting over here currently. Right. And if I wasn't afraid of being shocked by grabbing the the ground rod and pulling it away from there and I could hold it up there but I kind of don't want to do it that way let's see maybe I can just finagle it another way let's see There's a little gap. Let's see what happens here. case it's there it's powered it works um, it works but there's no disparity present if it's grounded to keep a disparity present the ground has to be not grounded way up the side of the insulation right there and into this one. So looks like that might be something to look into I guess. Okay. 
play with it more after work. 